Hello friends, welcome back to the Accent Designer. In today's video, I'm sharing with you a new design tool that I discovered called Wizard. I'm gonna be sharing the link down in the description. The reason I decided to share this tool with you is that they have a lot of AI-based features that just make uh, the UI design process much more fun and even quicker sometimes. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Right, so once you sign up, this is gonna be a home page where you can see all the projects you created or you're about to create. And the second tab here, you can find um, and have access to a lot of templates. Keep in mind that a limited number of templates is free. And if you wish to access more templates, you have to upgrade to the premium membership. And the third tab here in your dashboard is your team. If you wish to work with other people or invite other people to your projects, you can do that here. So let's now go to this empty template that I created. It's a web template. If you're familiar with any design tool like Figma, Sketch, or XD, you probably know what these symbols are on the left side panel and the right side. So on the right side, quickly, uh, I'm gonna say you can switch between design mode, prototyping. If you wanna leave notes and collaborate with other people, you can do that from this icon. And you have the settings. And on the left side panel, it's basically where you're gonna spend most of your time on this platform because you can add more screens, you can create templates or access uh, the template store, you can create shape and vectors, text, images, icons, uh, buttons, forms, and the magic tool. And this is gonna be um, the majority of our video today. We're gonna spend a lot of time on this magic tool because these are pretty much things that really pique my interest and wanted to discuss with you. All right, so the first feature that I wanna share with you today is how to convert these designs into wireframes. And I know that might sound a little bit weird. Why would I ever need to convert high fidelity designs back into wireframes? In my case, what I found very useful is uh, using wireframes like a certain file as a template for wireframes really comes in handy, especially if you're working alone or as a freelancer, you need to have like some sort of setup um, as opposed to searching for outlets and UI templates on Figma or other resources every time you land a new client or something. So one of the features that I found very helpful here is the wireframe mode. So once you go to magic and uh, select wireframe mode, toggle this switch on and it converts pretty much everything you design into a wireframe, which really can be saved later on. Like you can select just one component to save as a template or the whole thing to save as a, as a template. I'm not expecting this to be one of the most popular tools, but it can be very useful. The second tool that I found very helpful is if you're uploading JPEG or an image and you want to track um, text on this image, it can be done. If you go here to magic and click on scan screenshot, then you can upload the same one just gonna take a couple seconds to process. First of all, it took it a second or so just to identify the aspect ratios and adjust the mockup to fit the mobile screen. So that's completely fine. But the good thing about it is it turned the entire screenshot into traceable paths, which is great if you're short in time and just trying to mock up things quickly and share it with other people. This feature can be very handy, but as you can tell, it's just like still incomplete. You can see that this button over here is not similar to this one. Uh, the icons down here are not exactly the same or how they look in the app. Uh, the text also, as you can see here, is a little bit thicker, so it's not exactly uh, identical. You will definitely find some discrepancies here and there, but again, for a tool like this to actually capture a screenshot, and turn the text in it into traceable paths or objects, that's actually great. The other feature that I would like to share with you, which is my favorite, honestly, is uh, text suggestion. So it's like AI concept to generate different ideas and different text, not just to check your grammar and sentence composition. No, it gives you suggestions much similar to Bing or ChatGPT, which is actually awesome in this context. And as someone who actually works in the e-commerce space, I can see this feature very, very handy to craft um, user personas and uh, user flows and user journeys and all these artifacts. So if we go here to find our offices around the world, uh, you will already have this button once you highlight a text. 
text assistant. I'm gonna click it. I'm not really very happy with this, so I'm gonna just generate another one. So the new text says, check out our global locations and come by for a visit. It doesn't really sound that uh, natural to me, so I'm gonna generate a new one, so on and so forth. So the overall idea here, it, it gives you the option to generate different text ideas based on your first input, which is like really convenient. The final feature that I'm sharing with you guys today is heat maps. And in this case, it's not a heat map similar to the one I shared with you before in Figma where you actually draw like heat map like markers to emulate uh, the look and feel of a heat map. No, this is actually a smart feature that tracks your design and check where on the screen your audience is most likely to click and engage uh, with your content. So once you highlight a screen, you get this button over here, attention heat map. So you click it and again, just give it a couple seconds to process. And once it does, you can get this uh, new copy. You hit download and it showcases like pretty much a very cohesive representation of how people are most likely to interact with their design. This one can be very, very uh, useful. And if they actually triple down on it and make it even better and smarter, I imagine can be very uh, useful for complicated designs like dashboards. I work with a lot of dashboards, uh, being in the e-commerce space. So yeah, that was pretty much everything about Wizard that I wanted to share with you guys today. I really hope you like this tool and give it a shot, give it a try, see how it works and performs for you. Thank you very much for tuning in today and uh, yeah, see you next time.